All right, well, I'm back for more uh, Undead Nightmare. I, uh... I, like, want to see what's, uh... What's in here? There's some kind of icon that I don't recognize. In a time of enormous crisis, I might have known the government have you boys doing the work of a common clerk. Well, thank you for your input, citizen. I'm glad you find life so funny. <laughs> My pleasure. Do you think this poor girl's family finds life quite so funny right now? Family? I assumed she was a common killer. She's a missing person. Missing presumed dead, I guess. But you keep cracking them jokes. I'm sorry, mister. I guess I spoke a little out of turn. I ain't the one you should be apologizing to. Just find the girl. She's 15. Millicent Waterbury. So is this like a... <clears throat> like a bounty? Kind of, sort of? But probably I have to go... Go... Like, find her or whatever. Shit, I can do that. Let's go! Goddamn zombies in here, holy shit. Yes. Come on. Your family's worried sick. Thank <laughs> God you came along. What were you doing out here by yourself? We were so hungry. Even if the fort there ain't enough to go around. I just wanted to find something to eat. There ain't no food out here but us right now, miss. You should stay where it's safe. Climb on. Let's get you home. God help us. Let's go! Oh, I need to set a waypoint. Uh, here we go.
Do I have to go through that canyon again? Yeah, I think so. All right, well, let's try not to get name, murdered. Mister? John. John Marston. I've heard that somewhere before. You live around here? I spent some time down here, but I live in West Elizabeth. Is there no end? Come on. I've seen this person before. That's on my horse. I swear she looks familiar. Did you see them pulling at the house like a pack of wolves? It was like they could smell me in there. No offense, miss, but they could. It's horrific. Are they alive or dead? Somewhere in between, I reckon. It's some kind of punishment for our sins, isn't it? It's a curse. My pa warned me, but I didn't listen. This is all my fault. What are you talking about? Kissed a man and we weren't even betrothed. <laughs> Don't worry. Believe me, if that's the extent of your sins. I'm in a whole heap more trouble. <clears throat> Easy. Here we are. I can't seem to get away from this place. Thank you. Good luck helping your family, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Plenty of more just like him, Mr. Comedian. We got a whole host of missing folk. So it's it's this just like a thing that'll keep popping up over and over. I'll do one more just to see if it's like story driven. Um or if it's um you know like bounties or like you know shit, they're like right here. Okay, I'm gonna head over there. Zombies are Oh god. I like wonder if I have to kill them all. Or if I just have to like get her off the uh her on the horse, I mean.
I killed her. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, well that sucks. Okay, well whatever. This this wasn't happening anyway. There, there's there's too many zombies around here. All right. Um. Well, let's find one of them spitting zombies. Cause I, I know there's gotta be one around here somewhere. Definitely not here. Ah, oh, dog. So I'm gonna work on that for a little bit. All right. Well, I haven't found one of the spitting ones, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna keep keep playing. If I happen to come across one, I'll I'll deal with it. Hey, that was easy. Um, so I gotta go. Wait. Oh God, he's way out here. Okay. Fast. I didn't. Well, I didn't know that was gonna happen. Yeah. Let's go. Dickens, uh, Nigel, where are you, old man? You better not have gotten killed. I'm here. <laughs> Get out here. Are you alone? No, I brought the great mass hordes of the undead with me. Of course I'm alone. Well, it's not the undead I'm worried about, dear boy. I kind of like them. It's the normal people I can't stand. What's happened? No, don't be like that. I haven't done anything, or stolen anything, or even lied that much. What then? A bunch of people just chased me out of town. They blame me for everything that's happened. 
I tell you, John Marston, I've been selling health tonics for years, from here to Timbuktu, and never once has there been a, a demonic bloodlust or the undead rising up. It's preposterous. Okay. But now, they want to hang me, me, an honest salesman. Can you believe that? Snake oil merchant who cried wolf. Well, yeah, something like that. Um, well, I'm headed south. I'm, I'm headed down to Mexico. I hear things are much better down there, not to mention the, uh, the climate and the nice locals, but uh, also the merciful lack of cannibalistic morons with infectious eye diseases. <laughs> oh, did you uh, get the bits and bobs I requested? Sure. Ah, ha, ha, excellent. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> okay. No, I don't want to. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, there. Let's see. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Here you go. <laughs> I risked my life for this? A blunderbuss? Is this a joke? What is this, 1850? Oh, ye of such little faith. You've been hanging around cattle and killers too long. You've got the compassion of a mass murderer and the intellect of a cow patty. I'll stick your faith in this gun where the sun don't shine. This is the weapon of choice for demonic horde killers everywhere, from Romania to Edinburgh and all the other places the undead roam. You can put pretty much anything into it and blow a bunch of the buggers away in one go. Makes your rifle look like a pea shooter. You better not be lying to me. Uh, would I lie to you, John? Uh, to others, I admit the occasional uh, <clears throat> sin of omission. But to you, never, dear boy. Now, I. Oh, 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 oh wait, wait, wait. Ooh, ooh, ah. yeah. Now, I am headed down to Mexico. Is there any chance that uh, I will see you there? We shall see. Well, if you're interested, I should be at Solomon's Folly in a few days, trying to figure out a way to get in. I hear the border is not as open as it used to be. <clears throat> Ta-ta! <laughs> It uses undead body parts as ammunition. Okay. Interesting. The zombie right here. Zombie. So now when I lose zombies, do I get like body parts or something? Hmm. I don't know. I see. Okay. So, so now I gotta loot zombies all the time. Mm. Alright, cool. So, how does that work? Like, do I go in my inventory and I... Build undead... Wait, what? Not enough undead parts to create blunderbuss. So, how many does it take? Crates uses 10 of any type of undead parts. All right, then. Well, uh, short of me randomly encountering a, um, a spitting zombie. I think I'll just head way the F over here. So, yeah. We'll go that way.
Seth. Seth, you okay? What's going on? Oh, hey there, John. Fancy a game of cards? Not right this minute. You remember Moses, John. He's... He's, he's, he's a, a darn sight more loyal now than he was before. Uh, come here, boy. Come on. Come here, boy. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? We were boyhood friends, John. Moses is having a tough time right now. Ain't you, pal? What's going on? We're playing cards. Relax, sit down. I mean, with the undead walking the face of the earth, you crazy dumb bastard. That ain't nothing. Ain't nothing? I've seen husbands eating wives. Mothers eating sons. Graves popping open and the undead rising up. It sure as shit is something. Oh, boo-hoo. Big tough John Marson is scared a little undead creature walking around. Moses wouldn't hurt a fly, would you, darling? Besides, this ain't nothing new. Folks in Blackwater blaming it on that glass eye you found. Folks! 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 Damn them folks, John Marston! Damn them! And damn you! Get them! Get them, Moses! Get them! After all I've done for you, Seth, and I thought loyalty was important to you. You can't hurt me. Moses, get them. Go! Yeah. Get him. Get me, Moses. Looks like your dog's lost his bite, Seth. Now what the hell's going on? The dead have risen, and a virulent plague is turning people into flesh-eating crazies. What the hell you think's going on, genius? But why? But why? 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 Why not? Why not? <laughs> why the hell not? Because it ain't natural. Who made you Mother Nature and Mother Superior all at the same time? Who made you, John Marston? Same as made me, same as made Moses. Is there a cure? <sighs> These things tend to fade away. Now, if you want to get rid of it, you should go clear the graveyards. Either that, or stop worrying and become one of them. Now, if you excuse us, we got good times to remember. Happy times. Okay. See you soon, then, Seth. Come on, Moses. It's your deal. Diamonds are trumps. Come on. Clear out three new Austin graveyards. Uh, uh, okily, okily. Let me head that way.
Alright, let's clean out this goddamn graveyard. So, do I just like run around and. Oh, it's just like. It's like the thing I did at the very, very, very beginning. Mm, okay. Okay. Let's try the blood of us. Oh! Wow. Yeah. Well, that worked. I like that. I just used a blunderbuss on this bitch. And she gone. I'm not quite comfortable trying to kill them all with the torch. I mean, I probably could, but that would have been, been uh, probably not the smartest Man, tactical fun. move I could I could make. You won't be needing that. I'd be more of a gentleman if you'd been more of a lady. All right, I'm gonna head to the the, the next graveyard. Abigail, Jack, things I'd do for you.
<laughs> oh no! What the hell? Yeah. What am I hearing? It, it sounds like someone has like a uh, Gatling gun or something. I can just run them over with the horse and they'll burn, which is pretty funny. It's a shame the horse isn't like the mount in Horizon Zero Dawn, like how they'll fight with you and stuff. Shittos. Oh no. Ow. 
Peter Turner. You all the dogs from the devil! I just got one more graveyard to clear and then uh be done with this. Let me grab all these body parts though. From the other side, mister? I'll just go around and burn everything first. That way it's done. Because I, I think the zombies just kind of will continually uh, spawn in when this part's happening. I mean, I don't, I don't know that, but that seems to be the case. I'll just use Mr. Warhorse here. Ah. Kind of funny, you, you, you can use the coffins and they'll just burn themselves. See what I mean? Like they'll just like run right into the coffin and set themselves on fire. I don't even need to waste a single bullet.
work smarter, not harder. Bodies piled up around here. Yeah. This can't be I wonder if this is intentional. It probably isn't. Maybe it is. I don't know. I know I could shoot them and do this like a million times faster, but like, why would I? This tactic's working just fine. Is this counting like with with them dying like this does this count towards whatever trigger it is that tells the game that they're dying that i don't know to shoot some because I'm not sure this is working. I mean, it's killing them. I just don't know if because I'm not killing them, if it's not like giving credit, if that makes sense.
Ow. Damn zombies all I gotta kill, man. Okay, this does count as a kill. Cool. Dude, that was crazy. There was like a million zombies here. Oh, shit. Oh, man. I was going to use that zombie for that quest, but it blew up. Lame. All right, well, I'm going to loot all this shit, and then I'm going to go back to the uh, to Seth. Seth, sorry to interrupt your party. Hey, John, come join us. We're having a jig. <laughs> John, have you met Mary Lou? What about Francie? <laughs> I did as you asked and cleared out the rest of the graveyards. Doesn't seem to have done much good. Good? 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 Is dead good? Are you good? <laughs> Stop with your nonsense, you annoying fool. What's going on? The world's turning, John Marston, and the moon with it. Woohoo! <sighs> Day follows night, and hate follows love. <sighs> okay, you asked for it, Seth. You either stop dancing and start talking, or prepare to join Moses and the rest of these freaks. Are you constipated, John? You look very angry. You get constipated when you're angry. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> I'm warning you, Seth. Oh, I'm warning you, Seth. I'm warning you. Don't play with the undead, Seth. Don't chase treasure. Don't waste your time searching for treasure and discover only a glass eye. <laughs> glass eye. Well, warn all you want, cowboy. <laughs> Well, that's a load 
going off my mind. Why didn't I think about that before? Because you weren't dancing. <sighs> hey, John. Well, how are you? Would you like a drink? We got blood mucus surprise. Come on. Seth, what is going on? Aztecs. Or, or Incas. Or, or it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's all the same. Once every 200 years, this land is doomed. <laughs> That's why we love it. Mexico. Mexico, John. <laughs> oh, Mary Lou, may I have the honor? Oh. You're a sick man. Well, now I have to go to Mexico. Don't you give me those goo goo eyes. I warned you, Seth. I warned you. Okay. Well, this gameplay is going to be a little shorter, but I got shit to do in real life, so I got to go do that. So I am going to go, and I will see you when I see you.